up y'all we back part two of our uh q a uh of course it's ran a little too long so we didn't want to bore nobody with the video so we decided to split it up into two and this is part two so you're just gonna pick up right where we left off it i'm saying hey y'all i ain't gonna say it loud and it okay <laughs> all right so where we at all right so again no particular order just whatever we just gonna get this over with do y'all do PDA? PDA, public display of affection. She don't be wanting to. Yeah, no. And sometimes I don't want to. I ain't gonna put it all on her. Yeah, she do what she wanna do. Because it's weird how I, I <laughs> when y'all talk about it. Yeah, sometimes I'll be like, I bet you won't kiss me. And I'll be like, I, I bet, bet I won't do it. And she'll be like, no, but I'll be like, if I kiss you, you're gonna be embarrassed. No, no. She was saying, no, you gonna be a man. <laughs> you're right. Be right. She, she like to flip. Y'all just keep watching. I told y'all, keep watching. You gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see. All right. Uh, where did y'all meet? At work. I made mean, at work. You know, y'all know that. I if you've been watching, this gotta be somebody who haven't been watching. Cause everybody else know we work together and we met there. That's where we met at. As a couple, what makes y'all the happiest? As the a couple, what makes us the happiest? Um, Our love? Yeah, that's too bad. That should make you happy even if you ain't a couple. <laughs> uh, I, for me, because it ain't going to be the same. Not going to be the same. So we can't say as a couple what makes us the happiest because what makes me happy may not make her happy. What makes her happy may not make me happy. Maybe some of it. What's yeah. yours? Uh, probably like the time we spend together, yeah, and things we do. That's I like, yeah, yeah. The I'm super quality happy. time, the yeah, I'm super happy. Yeah, I that. agree with that. And mine will also be love. How does privacy work in your marriage? Hmm? It, uh, what? Don't tell them what? Yeah, it works. I know to give you your space. Do you? Oh, it's work. Yeah. Yes, for the majority of the part. Yeah, but that ain't privacy, though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Giving, That's just well, giving space. you some. Like, I know not to be like, I'll like, who you texting, what mm -hmm. you doing, mm -hmm. where you going, who you going with, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's true. That's true. That type. I don't generally uh, get in her business. I give her all the information. She'd be like, uh. mm -hmm. she <laughs> but I feel like I, you know, I want to let her know. Where I'm going, who I'm going with, where I'm at. Yeah. Just little dip, you know, just little stuff that she don't ask for, but I just give it to mm -hmm. her, and I don't get mad if she go five places and don't and don't tell me where she going. Yeah, I'm. I got that bad though. I don't really go anywhere though. In mm -hmm. my defense, I don't really go anywhere. It'd be the same. It's perfect same for me places. to go. We live about twelve, maybe thirteen minutes away from the job. It's perfect for me to go to work and come home. That's that's a perfect situation for me. <laughs> and then if I'm out doing something, it's I'm out looking for stuff to do a project with. Yeah. It's work. It's still work, basically. Uh, what's what's something one of y'all? Okay, let's skip that one. <laughs> what's the best surprise y'all have given each other? Uh, a surprise. Oh. A surprise I gave her. She be doing you surprise is so bad though. With us. Yeah, cause we can't hold it. Mm -mm. We can't hold it at all. I think the longest mm -hmm. I've reached well last year, June, mm -hmm. was the first time that I held something from her mm -hmm. and still ended up giving it to her a day a day early. Cause mm -hmm. I couldn't hold on to it no more. Other than that, as soon as we get something or buy something or we getting mm -hmm. ready to do something. Yeah. Go ahead and like I do, it. yeah, because I get excited when I do stuff for her, and I do do stuff for her a lot. I be excited, so I be excited a lot. I guess I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know what's the best. I know surprise y'all have given each other. That's a really, really good question. That's a good question that Twasky don't even have an answer for because I haven't. I've never really. Oh, what you gonna say? That that one nothing though. What? Okay. 
Yeah, um, yeah. So one time I hired a private chef. Yeah, he did. Yeah. She had me go to Michael's for her. Mm -hmm. I had to go to Michael's for t-shirts. I was like, can you go to Michael's And I ain't think nothing of it because, you know, she working. And I'm like, yeah, I can stop by and get it. Yeah. And I left out the house and mm -hmm. came back, y'all, to somebody cooking in the kitchen mm -hmm. and food as soon yeah. as I opened up the door. Yeah, it's like a couple years, about two years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, like and one time you did it and you told me not to come out the room. Yeah, but I cooked everything. <laughs> yeah, I just but cooked. I didn't know what you was doing in yeah. the front. I smelled. Right. Exactly. We, we like got dressed up. Well, not dressed up, but, you know. We was at home. Mm -hmm. We got like dressed up and yeah. I took candles, a whole meal, yeah, rose petals. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of that's important. Dang, the surprise, like the best surprise. The, she that ring was a surprise for me because I had no idea she was gonna get it. Um, oh, when you bought me the Apple Watch that time, oh yeah, that was a Christmas gift, but it was a surprise gift. Oh yeah. Um, that's a hard one. Yeah. That's a real hard one. Because we, we do a lot of stuff for each other. Like I said, mm -hmm. she always doing something. And every time I think of something that she may get, I'll go ahead and get it. You know, to try to get it for her. What's your ideal honeymoon spot? Oh, that's a good question. Um, um What the fuck is it? Oh, man. I'm um, going to go to Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii is good. Um, but you gotta pick your alley. You got seven albums over there, so you gotta pick your alley. That's so pretty. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Belize, maybe. Mm -hmm. As a honeymoon spot, meaning we just wanna lay up. We don't really wanna do a whole lot. We just wanna lay up and just enjoy each other. Uh, maybe, um, I'm gonna say Belize and then maybe stay on the water on like those huts that be on the water over there or whatever. I've already priced that super expensive, but I I'll priced it. Say how much is it? Yep. <laughs> is there any place y'all haven't been but want to go? Hell yeah. It's like a million mm -hmm. places we need to go. We still on a mission. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I know Phoenix. You yeah, just here in the States, but I don't yeah. even count that though. Okay, so out the country. Yeah, I don't even count. I mean, yeah, we ain't been mm -hmm. to Phoenix. We do want to go to Phoenix. We want to go to Chicago. Um, again, like I just don't really count them because them that's something I can do on Friday, okay? I come back on Sunday, so if that's what y'all talking about, Phoenix, Chicago, <laughs> um, Phoenix, Chicago, probably the top two, maybe that yeah. I really San Francisco, maybe Washington, yeah, Washington, maybe Seattle, maybe it's a lot of places in this world that we haven't been. Um, probably, uh, is there any place y'all haven't been but want to go? Uh, out of the country, um, I've never, I've personally never been to the Virgin Islands. Yeah. So I would nice love stuff. to go there, although, you know, they, they had a few issues, but I, I think they, uh, good now. I don't know, but yeah, Virgin Islands on a good day, though. Yeah. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? So we split this question up. Me, mm -hmm. you. Uh, I can shit. I just told my romantic story. Yeah, that yeah. was yours. I got another one though. I did a um indoor picnic. Yep, she did. Mm hmm. We had we was um keto diet the first go round and um we had all keto friendly foods. Bottom yes. line, we just did it on the living room floor. Man, it was a nice to watch the movie. Yep. Mm hmm. Just chilling. Just chilling. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um. I would probably say, remember that one year Friday anniversary where we had just came back from my trip. You had to go back to work, but and I was do. off. Mm -hmm. And you cooked for me? And I had cooked and for my you. Earring. <laughs> and bought you earrings. Yeah, that I yeah. lost. Yeah, yeah she lost one of her lost earrings. One of them. <laughs> yeah, I would say that was the most romantic thing I had did because she didn't have no clue when she was at work. I ain't had to tell her where I was when she came home. I, food was already done. What does a week, week, weekend look like for y'all? That's opinions. Oh, that's opinions. Yeah. yeah my I weekend, mean. I like my weekends to look the same. I don't, I'm tired. Like, I've worked all week. I get off of one job, come home and work another job half of the time. I'm tired. I really don't like to do a whole lot uh, on the weekends, unless I'm getting the fuck up out of Dallas. Yeah, like, mine's, I got to be, like, extremely tired for me not to want to do nothing. Because, like, I'll be tired during the week, but mm -hmm. still be trying to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. It can be to the mall, just anywhere. It just really depends. I don't have time for it. 
you know, like the older you get in life, you just, you, you need that relaxation time. Mm -hmm. I just don't have time to be ripping and running streets and stuff like that. It just does, it tear your body down and I'm already mm -hmm. tired, so I don't want to be bothered with none of that <laughs> shit, period. Mm, what do y'all do for fun? You see, she got this fucking cup in her hand. What Happy you mean? Happy National Margarita Day. She can't even talk straight. She probably don't even remember these questions. I do all. remember these questions. Now, I'm gonna remember like remember them later too. That's what she do for fun. Yeah, we go out to eat. <laughs> we go. We go out to eat. We go to the movies. We go different places. We, we like to travel. Yeah, yeah she she. We like to travel. Cause I'm thinking about local. But yeah, we, we like do to like to travel. We really like to travel. But we've been slipping. Um, in 2018, we slipped a whole lot. We we still moved around, but yeah, we not used to go nearly. Oh, yeah, it was like once a like, month, yes. basically. And 18 okay. was just one of them off years or something. Um, but 19 started off. It's starting off pretty good. Mm -hmm. Got to line up some stuff or whatever. Yeah. When you catch them specials, you got to catch them Down specials. Down. I'm believing paying <laughs> a ton of money for my flights because I want to pay good money for my room. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, do you think in a marriage because one person likes something, the other one has to like it too? No. Nah, that's mm -hmm. individuality. Yeah, you have your opinion and your thoughts on something and I'm going to have mine. Mm -hmm. Whose idea was design. it to get married? Uh, mine. It was mine. Uh, what's one thing you guys have in common? Mm. We like to take care of business. I don't know if I like to take care of business. Well, we get I business do. handled. Okay. Responsible What's people. For me, what's the most expensive gift y'all have ever given each other? I don't know what mine is. Mine is my purse we bought me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mine is probably, it's going to be a watch. Mm. It's going to be a watch because... My thing is shoes, watches, and hats. Yeah. That's my thing. And out of hats, watches, and shoes, watches is going to be uh, the most expensive thing. So it's probably going to be a watch. Uh, a watch. Yeah. Um, this is the question I skipped earlier. What something one of y'all did and didn't tell the other something big? Oh, that was do shit. Mm -hmm. I tell so they say something big. I have my trusted up to y'all. They say something big, but I'll do something all the time. It's not really big though, and not tell her. I'll buy shoes. Uh, <laughs> I thought she had on a pair this morning. Every week if I can, <laughs> I'll buy shoes every week if I can. Uh, I like shoes, y'all. I, I like shoes. I can't think of nothing for that one. Mm -mm. Everything that every, all the big, they say something big. All the yeah, big purchases that she's made lately, going into her business. So I mean, I I refuse to let her tell me anything about what she buying for her business. That's not that's neither here nor there because it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> when I wanted to start getting into photography, I had to buy a camera, I had to buy lights, I had to buy backdrops, I had to buy all that stuff. And, and that really, like, not being ugly, but that wasn't her business. You know what I'm trying to do, so you know I'm going to be spending money, yeah. right? Um, when I started making shirts and clothes and shit, I had to buy two different machines. Had to buy uh, material. Yeah, material every weekend. Yeah, every week. so, yeah. <laughs> yeah it it, it costs or whatever. Um, yeah, whatever is going to make you successful. Yeah, whatever. Whatever going to make a little good for you. Right. So let me turn this on because it was a question I had. I kind of wanted to expand on. Uh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Don't worry about it. Mm. Oh, whose idea was it to get married? So again, it was my idea. But check this out. You used to tell me, well, we had talked about it. It wasn't a big issue. But check this out. You used to tell me, well, we had talked about it. It wasn't a big issue or nothing like that because I didn't expect to, for this shit to, just to lead to marriage either. Um, so you used to say how you never want you to see the purpose of marriage i think that's what it was yeah i didn't it was just like i ain't that's nothing that i'm thinking about it's nothing that i've thought about yeah what's yeah 
I ain't at the, I knew I wasn't at the place previously at a point to where I was ready to discuss marriage. But I said, even even when she said that, I said that's because of the person. It just always yeah, depends on the person, I think, though. And that's going to be true because mm -hmm. once you start, you know, you, you know, like, had just say, for instance, you asked me and I knew we were not at the place. Mm -hmm. To, to be, be married, married. Yeah. it's like well, no, would you have said no or just like yes and just kind of put it off you know what i'm saying because mm, no, I, I don't i don't i i if somebody asked me to marry them i like them and i could see myself marrying mm -hmm. them i wouldn't say no yeah i, I just probably would have to yeah. just explain to you yeah you, you wasn't gonna explain to me though no, no i'm saying think, like i wouldn't just say yes just to say yes because then turn around like how we you asked in november we got married in january yeah but we talked about it though that so we didn't. I didn't just ask you in November when we got married. In yeah. January we talked about it. Though. Yeah, I'm saying like I know that's something you can't get out of. So I feel like I feel Why like if it's something. Get out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with all the extra stuff, I'm saying, like how people just up and just get married and only stay married a couple of months and then you gotta go turn around and get a divorce. I know that's not nothing that I wanted to do. So like if you would have asked me and I felt like we were not ready, mm -hmm. I feel like you know I just would have. Try to just explain to you, you know, well, we just need to work on this or we need to work on that. And then probably at a later date, we can have the discussion. Because I always like have wondered. Um, I always have wondered y'all about that. Like if somebody asks y'all, comment down below. If you remember, if you're not just watching the video. Comment down below and just tell me because it's something I've always wondered about. If somebody asks you to marry them and you felt like y'all wasn't ready or you wasn't ready, would you just say yes for the sake of it? Or would you say no and tell them why? Comment down below. Y'all don't forget to- y'all did it before. Yep. Like if you had to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate y'all a Thank whole lot. Uh, you guys are really uh, making us feel like big timers mm -hmm. and we're clearly not. <laughs> uh, but the way y'all make us feel, we appreciate that a lot, a whole lot. Uh, y'all have any more questions, send them send to the them. email. Send them. Send them. If you got any more questions, ship them right on mm -hmm. over. We will answer them. Like I said, about, when we get to 10, 10 is fine. Yeah. 10 is fine. If we got four or five, we'll answer those and just expand on them. Um, yep. So that's our uh, conclusion of uh, our couples Q&A. We thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next video.